Hey gang, it's David again, back to you with yet another Adobe XD tutorial in which we are going to create a mobile menu and uh, we're going to learn how to turn this icon right here, this uh, hamburger icon menu, into a close icon like that and to animate it and of course how to make all these links right here pop into place like that along with the with this fake logo and of course along with this nicely animated background. So if that's something that you're interested in, just keep watching. So of course we will be starting from scratch. Uh, as you can see, I've quickly added, thanks to the quick mockup plugin, just a simple dummy uh, mobile uh, layout. And uh, what we really need here is to, well, we just need to focus on this header right here that you can see in our layers panel. So inside this um, this layer, all we have is this like blog name. So this is basically this uh, like a mock-up company logo. And here on the right, of course, we got this icon. But it's not just like a, you know, like a, like an icon that was added, for instance, using uh, the icons for design plugin. But as you can see, these are just three separate lines. If you can just, if I can just maybe like, move a little bit closer, you can see that these are just basically paths that have a border added to them. And it's actually a good thing because we are going to turn these lines into a uh, like a close X symbol once our menu is loaded. What I basically want to add to this header guy right here when we click on this element is of course a background and some links. Of course, uh, I would also like to add um, maybe like this logo. I want it to move from this top corner to maybe like to the to the bottom a bit a bit down basically. So let's actually start with uh, the background. So I'm just gonna grab the rectangle tool, and I'm gonna create a rectangle that is gonna go all the way down here. As you can see, we got this above the fold line set up right here. So my board, my background is going to be covering this like the, the first the primary screen one when um, it's uh, it's like extending all the way to to this line down here. I don't need the border, but I do need the fill. And I'm just going to, with this eyedropper tool, I'm going to, I'm going to try to uh, maybe, let's just go down here. I'm going to try to maybe grab one of these colors. Um, maybe let's do something like this dark, dark color like that. Of course, I wanted to go to my header, so I'm just going to move it down here. What I'm doing right now is I am basically building out my, like a tapped state in that state apart from the border, we need to have like, you no know, links here. So I'm just gonna grab the text tool and I'm quickly gonna type in some basically links. So maybe let's do something like 18, this should be enough. And I'm just gonna do a quick repeat grid and I'm just gonna bring these guys down and maybe do somewhere here. I think that this should be enough. Maybe I'm gonna bring these guys a bit closer. I'm gonna ungroup the grid. And let's just type in something like maybe about us in here. Let's do, maybe let's, let's do like, I don't know, products, products. There we go. And uh, here let's do prices and down here, let's just do contact us. Very, very generic, very standard, but I guess it will do. And what I would also like to do is I would like to have this like a this mock-up company logo to be like put uh, down here and of course we still need to create uh, the uh, the X symbol but right now we have basically all the ingredients we need to create that uh, effect and that effect of course is going to be well created using the the components functionality. So once we have all these elements, we can actually even select all of them. So these, all these elements, I'm just simply going to press Ctrl K on my keyboard to create a component. Of course, if you're on a Mac, you would do Command K. But if you don't want to remember that shortcut, you can just go to the object menu. And, you know, you would just need to press this make component uh, option. But of course, it's all, it already is, an, is a component, so it's grayed out right here. So we got our default state. And I also need a, an, another state, uh, I'm gonna call it like tapped. You can call it open or whatever you want. And now we just have to play with our states. So in our tapped state, what we want is we want to see 
like these links, of course, just like, like they are right here. And I want to grab my this blog name. So this guy right here. And I simply want to move it maybe to somewhere here. And these icons, I mean, like these elements, need to like you know need to be turned into an X symbol. With the help of the layers panel, uh, I'm simply going to try to grab this bottom path down here, and I'm just going to drop its opacity down. I don't need it anymore. I'm going to grab this top one, and I'm simply going to add like 45 degree rotation to it. And I'm going to move it down to somewhere here. And I'm going to do this, well, almost the same with this guy right here. I'm going with, also going to rotate it, but by minus 45 degrees. And I'm going to maybe push it a bit up. Uh, it looks, I think it looks all right. What we have right now is our tapped state. So now we can move on to our default state, because in the default state, we don't want to see the background, we don't want to see this, uh, these links. At this point, you can actually decide what your ultimate uh, effect is going to look like, because what you do from this moment will make, um, well, yeah, will be responsible for the, for the ultimate effect. Because let's say that uh, you, well, we don't need the background for sure. So let's, let, let's do it first. So let's say that you want this background to like slide in from the left. So all you would have to do is to grab this background. And let me just grab the background and I'm going to move it to the side. But we could also do something more like funky with it. So first of all, we could maybe like rotate it. Let's say to something like this and I'm going to move it away. And I'm going to drop its opacity all the way to zero like that. So in our default state, we don't see it. In the tap state, this guy needs to, of course, go back. So I'm going to rotate it back to zero and I'm going to move it to the center and bring its opacity back to 100% like that. So I'm going to go back to the header, default state tapped state, default state, <laughs> tapped state. So in my default state, I also want to remove these links, right? So I'm just going to grab the, maybe let's start with the home link and I'm just going to move it like somewhere here. Then I'm going to grab the about us link and I'm going to move it to the side, but to the right. And then the products and I'm going to move it like somewhere here. Then the prices, I'm going to move it here. And the last one is the contact and I'm going to move it maybe like somewhere here. And of course, now we, ha we have to go back to our header to the tapped uh, state. And again, I'm going to grab all my links. And I'm simply going to align them to the center. Well, maybe then to the right, maybe that's going to be a bit better. So right now we got the default state that looks like this and the tapped state that looks like this. So I think that we have everything that we need. So we can now go to the prototype part, the prototype workspace, and uh, we can just try to grab our icon. So maybe it's going to be a bit better from the, from the layers panel. So our icon, this guy right here, I don't want to add a tap trigger to it. And I want to check, I want to change the uh, transition. Well, the type of the transition to auto animate and the destination is going to be our tabbed state. And I'm going to go back to the design and I'm going to make sure that I am on the tapped state. And again, from the prototype workspace, I'm going to find the icon, I'm going to add that interaction and uh, auto animate is okay. And I'm going to go back to, I wanted to, I wanted to go back to default state, but uh, before we like, you know, check if it actually is working, I just want to change the easing from ease out. I want to make it snap. And also let me just like increase the duration to one second just so you can see what's happening a bit better. And I'm also going to do that for the default state because what I'm doing right now is, um, well, by changing this um, easing to snap, um, I'm going to be like kind of simulating uh, some like irregularities in the, uh, like in the duration of, of these uh, effects. Because just with the like ease out or easing out, everything is gonna look like like it's not, like everything is happening at the same time, and I want to like you no know, spice things up <laughs> a bit. But in order to see those effects a bit better, I'm gonna set it to one second. Now, normally the duration should be set to something quick because you know, especially nowadays, people don't want to wait for anything. But we want to learn, so I'm just gonna set it to one second just so you can see 
again, everything a bit better. So I'll make sure that the default state is active. And I'm going to fire up my prototype. And fingers crossed, if everything is working fine, we should be now able to click on this guy. And as you can see, our animation is nicely well happening. And notice that because we set like this background to be like rotated in the default state and uh, we set the, the opacity to zero, when we click on it, you can see that this like nice slow rotation is, uh, is happening. And the same goes for these uh, links right here. As you can see, they are like flowing, uh, flow, flying in from, uh, from both uh, directions, and there is like a slight irregularity in the like in the duration because we set these guys. If you just like take a closer look, like we move them to the sides, you know, like well irregularly. So they're not like in line on line uh, on the left and on the right, but they are being moved a bit. Well, like like they are spread out a bit a bit more. So uh, again. It all depends, you know, like this final effect, it depends on your starting point, basically. So if you were to, like in the default state, let's say that I'm going to grab some links. Let's let's just move this guy, I don't know, somewhere here, this guy, I don't know, somewhere here, this guy somewhere here, and I'm going to do the same with these elements. So these links right here. And if we now check the, well, preview this guy, you can see that they are flying from basically all over the place. So if that's basically the effect that you're looking for, you know, go ahead, you can do that. You know, it's more about uh, just understanding that what you do in the default state first uh, is going to like hugely affect the whole animation that you're going to see in the tapped, um, tapped state. So there you go. This is how you can create this kind, of an, this kind of an effect. If you like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the to the channel if you wanna if you don't wanna miss any other uh, video, and uh, you know as always uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, have a nice design.